Hello, friends of St. Peter's, and welcome to our early Tuesday morning service. Today, we have the privilege of reflecting on the life and ministry of St. Elred of Riveau. He was a 12th century abbot and monk and a friend. You'll find a link to the bulletin. It looks about like this. Um, in the description of this video, whether you're watching it on YouTube or Facebook, and I encourage you to go ahead and click on that link so you can join me as we pray together and make this worship together. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and blessed be his kingdom now and forever. Amen. Let's pray together. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Grant to your people, almighty God, a spirit of mutual affection, that following the example of your servant, Aelred of Ravo, we may know the love of Christ in loving one another. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our first reading today comes from St. Paul's letter to the Philippians. If then there is any encouragement in Christ, any consolation from love, any sharing in the Spirit, any compassion and sympathy, make my joy complete, be of the same mind, having the same love, being in full accord and of one mind. Do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility regard others as better than yourselves. Let each of you look not to your own interests, but to the interest of others. The word of the Lord. And we have a very short portion of Psalm 36 today. Your love, O Lord, reaches to the heavens and your faithfulness to the clouds. Your righteousness is like the strong mountains. Your justice is like the great deep. You save both man and beast, O Lord. How priceless is your love, O God. Your people take refuge under the shadow of your wings. They feast upon the abundance of your house. You give them drink from the river of your delights. For with you is the well of life and in your light we see light. Continue your loving kindness to those who know you and your favor to those who are true of heart. And this is the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, as the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. I have said these things to you so that my joy may be in you and your joy may be complete. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I do not call you servants any longer because the servant does not know what the master is doing, but I have called you friends because I have made known to you everything I have heard from my father. You did not choose me, but I chose you and I appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last so that the Father will give you whatever you ask him in my name. I am giving you these commandments so that you may love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, Aylred is a wonderful character. Um, and as I mentioned at the start of the service, he was a 12th century saint, born into a family which had long been the treasures, treasurers treasurers of the shrine of Cuthbert of Lindisfarne at Durham Cathedral. While still a youth, he was sent for education and upper-class life to the court of King David of Scotland, and who was the son of Queen Margaret, who we celebrated a few weeks back. The king's stepsons, Simon and Waldeff, were his models and intimate friends. But after intense disillusion and inner struggle, he went to Yorkshire, where he became a Cistercian monk at the Abbey of Riveau, 
in 1133. Ale Red soon became a major figure in English church life. Sent to Rome on diocesan affairs by the Archbishop of William of York, he returned by way of Clairvaux, and there he made a wonderful friendship with Bernard, and he encouraged Bernard, who we know as Bernard of Clairvaux, uh, to write his first work, Mirror of Charity, on Christian perfection. In 1143, Elred led the founding of a new Cistercian house at Revesby. Four years later, he was appointed abbot of Rilvo. By the time of his death in 1167, the abbey had more than 600 monks, including Elred's biographer and friend, Walter Daniel. During this period, Elred wrote his best known work, Spiritual Friendship. Friendship, Elred teaches, is both a gift from God and a creation of human effort. While love is universal, freely given to all, friendship is a particular love between individuals, of which the example is Jesus and John, the beloved disciple. As abbot, Aylred allowed his monks to hold hands and give other expressions of friendship. In the spirit of Anselm of Canterbury and Bernard of, of Clairvaux, Aylred writes, there are four qualities that characterize a friend, loyalty, right intention, discretion, and patience. Right intention seeks for nothing other than God and natural good. Discretion brings understanding of what is done on a friend's behalf and ability to know when to correct faults. Patience enables one to be justly rebuked or to bear adversity on another's behalf. Loyalty guards and protects friendship in good or bitter times. So I love that we got to reflect on Ale Red today and that we get to reflect on friendship. And my prayer for us in this time is that we can find new ways to treasure those friendships, especially those friendships in Christ, and recognize the way that those four gifts, uh, loyalty, right intention, discretion, and patience play out in our relationships. And I invite you to think about friendships where loyalty has been particularly in, important or right intention or discretion or patience even. And to just think about and pray about the ways God has been present and God has extended grace to you um, through those friendships. And also how those uh, four qualities can bear new fruit in your present day relationships and friendships especially this week, I would encourage you to think about someone you haven't heard from in a while who you might pick up the phone and call and check in and show that kind of loyalty uh, that comes from reaching out across space and time and loving each other in challenging times, as no doubt we are finding ourselves in a challenging time. Um, and, and extend that love and enjoy that friendship and enjoy that gift of that particular love that God has graced our lives with. Amen. The prayers of the people are found on page three of the bulletin or 387 of your prayer book. Father, we pray for your holy Catholic church that we all may be one. Grant that every member of the church may truly and humbly serve you that your name may be glorified by all people. We pray for all bishops, priests, and deacons, that they may be faithful ministers of your word and sacraments. And we pray for all who govern and hold authority in the nations of the world, that there may be justice and peace on the earth. Give us grace to do your will in all that we undertake, that our works may find favor in your sight. Have compassion on those who suffer from any grief or trouble, that they may be delivered from their distress. And give to the departed eternal rest. Let light perpetual shine upon them. We praise you for your saints who have entered into joy. May we also come to share in your heavenly kingdom. And let us pray for our own needs and those of others, and perhaps put our prayer requests in the chat whether we're on YouTube or Facebook, so that we can pray together at this time. And then turning our hearts to the confession, let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, 
We confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord be always with you. And drawing our hearts together as we pray as our Savior Christ has taught us, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. May God bless you and keep you and may God's face to shine upon you on this day and always. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go forth in the name of Christ. Thanks be to God. Thank you for being here this morning. Have a beautiful day. Until next time. Bye-bye.